Hey, hey, my beautiful peeps, locking down the truth with Marcy Locke. So just uh, my, actually my first morning here at the lake house, I got to wake up to this gorgeous view and do my morning routine and run down to the gym and just came back. And the thing that I, I, I wanted to um, share on, because it's coming through me and we all know that, you know, when something's coming through me, it just bleh, it can't be contained. And I just got off the phone um, from talking to my good friend, AJ, who's one of my dearest, greatest friends. He, you know, if you don't know or follow AJ, then you should, he's amazing. It's uh, AJ Merzad and he does online super coach and has events and one of my dearest friends I absolutely love that's aligned to core values and integrity and he was really frustrated um, that he had just had an experience where, you know, he'd done with someone that we both know and someone that's really credible. He'd done, you know, kind of a co-collaboration thing, had done several webinars and a launch and, and, and done something and had a clear agreement of 50-50 split. And then this person's kind of disappeared and hasn't paid him and isn't communicating since, you know, um, uh, just, just not, just some really big red flags of core alignment and integrity. And yet, you know, it's speaking about integrity and, and eth ethnical, you know, um, ethnicity and all these things ethnicity that's that's not, not the word I was looking for but being ethical and and so he's really frustrated with this and I got to because we're great friends and we get to create that space for each other and support each other got to you know allow him to be heard and, and look at it and look at the energy of it and what you really want to put your your focus and attention on and the thing is that I experienced probably over a year ago um, a similar experience where I decided to split off from doing a collaboration with somebody and that you know spoke is like I'm a high-end coach and I coach people at this level and I'm super successful and when it came down to it looking at the numbers of things realizing that you know we'd pretty much been jacked on on just you know me trusting in the integrity of this person you know sending the, the payments our way for every single month the, the things that we were doing together and then when it came down to even the money that he owed me and it's like a year later we're still in the same process of you know not even getting one payment yet and so and having such big issues with money that it's like they can't even afford a you know the payment and yet they're speaking out as this you know super successful person and it's really frustrating to find these gaps of integrity and that's why I always say results don't lie and the thing that I just want to um, bring to light around this is that you get to choose what you focus on and the energy that you put towards things and then learning and even taking full responsibility and feedback of, of moving forward and, and what in a lot of my experience so many of my personal clients will tell me Marsh you taught me what it was like to be a real mentor which is a huge honor and and uh, just you know a, a massive compliment because their experience as well as mine in the past was that they they'd coach with people that wouldn't honor their agreements or give them what they had you know promised or you know had had some really disheartening experiences that was mine as well but what in each of those experiences I got to take feedback in what did did I what, did I speak up to my clear agreements did I uh, you know um, was I able to did I create clear agreements did I honor my truth did I have all that clear you know um, conversations and saying it's a you know how you do one thing is how you do all things that's really what we want to see is that when you're when these red flags show up if you're not willing to say hey I know we're out of alignment of our clear agreement what's going on and being worthy of speaking up and being held to those kind of things you so my past experience was that I would always be the one that showed up and had integrity and authenticity and did those things and yet I wasn't receiving the same back and that was a level of my own reflection my own self-worth that I was a person who always had to show up and make it work and yet not holding people to their agreements of integrity with me as well and that even understanding that pattern I saw from my unconscious commitment of not being worthy allowed me to clear the shit in my life that's why we all know now I specifically say it's a fuck yes it's a fuck yes only and it's a fuck yes fit on both sides so because I'm very clear that I, you know, um, allow only those kind of things in my life and clear agreements and people are aligned to those core values versus in the past, I'd be like, oh, well, you know, we'll work it out or, you know, I'll just, because of my own shit that I didn't feel worthy or I was afraid of rejection or afraid that, you know, they'd be unhappy with me and all of that is what you keep creating in your life. So this beautiful gift of feedback in all my past experiences was for me to recognize not just going oh red flag how do I cool what could I do with this how could I create this and going self-empowerment mode which you get to do in, in every circumstance and situation but also seeing what's the pattern here that is not allowing me to get exactly what I want in my life and only draw those people into my life and and so my my feedback around this also is that wherever your energy goes it's gonna expand so I have so many business things from the past that I learned from where it's like several people owed me hundred thousand dollars or more and I could put my energy towards going after that and fighting it and, da -da -da, and it just was like you know what just not worth my energy because 
I'm a fucking manifester. I can manifest like a motherfucker. So wherever my energy goes, as soon as I put my energy towards and it's free to put it towards creation, I can make way more fucking money than that hundred grand striving and struggling and fighting just like this past business relationship. We've got our lawyers on it and we've got legal legalities and contracts set that, you know, and I'm more than happy to create payment plans with people and do that. And it's not worth my energy. I get to focus my energy on creating awesomeness. And there's a lot of things in the past I just chose to, did you know, just bid farewell with happiness and learn from and have beautiful feedback from and, and how I chose to operate and you know again the clear agreements and core values etc and seeing that and then moving on so that I continue to create the life that I want and the thing that I just want you to remember from all this again how you do one thing is how you do all things and results don't lie so when you start to see these things instead of ignoring them you get clear on what you're creating attracting your life and what you want to be worthy of and who you want to align to so um, I know this is also shows me there's evidence of amazing people out there AJ is one of my best friends who's so in, aligned with integrity and authenticity and that's all I surround myself with and all I get to experience now so again you know you learn from those things and you move on this is Marcia Locke reminding you power choice is yours choose your best life lock it down